Good morning, everybody, and happy Friday. We got 64 degrees right now out here. I'll look and see what it is on Celsius. So the bear was uh, investigating this last night. Doesn't look like he did any damage to it. Um, but that's what he was playing with, was the, uh, the weather station. So, hopefully... They don't break it. But I think the other thing is right here's the camera. And I'm pretty sure the one was actually playing with this. This is jammed in here pretty bad. We got to get these out of here. I got to cut them out. I got to cut these out today. Get these all out of here because these are giving them toys to play with. And they're all destroyed. So, oh yeah, fun times, fun times. But yeah, they were here quite a while last night. I'm thinking about kind of time stamping them, trying to figure out how to do that. But yeah, right here's the tree that the baby climbed. But I tell you what, in person, they look a lot smaller than they do on this camera. All right, there's the blank. I'm actually tempted to bring the other one back here and go put it back over where it was. I don't know. So what you doing, little man? Huh? I got to blow your yard out today. Like I said, Miss Priya has an appointment at 11.45 to go to the vet. And hopefully we can find out what the hell's going on with her. And boy, that one lens is really dirty because that lens fell out. Pocket lens. I'm not even sure which is the main lens and which is the ultra-wide. Or no, that's the ultra-wide. One of them is zoomed and one of them is not. One, both of them are dirty. I was shooting in the ultra-wide, so it doesn't really matter. But eh, a little bit clouded this morning. That's a pretty picture. Pretty sky we got going on this morning some quick screen grabs since it's available now well if i was shooting in progress it wouldn't be try that no too much building <laughs> well, i had the phone on me so this is yeah and i decided just to include everything um in la in yesterday's video because since the i came back and yelled at the bears and then they, they came back they didn't care they're like Whatever, dude. <laughs> We're bears. But Mike said basically they're more, they're, I think, brown bears? or I'm not sure if a brown bear or black bear. One of them's more scared of humans than the other. But these are the, the, the more scared style bears. So, type of bears. Style. Oh, my God. Anywho. All right. I finished editing yesterday. Just made a second cup of coffee. And, uh, yeah. Find out what what we gotta do for Miss Princess here and try to get her uh, feeling better. She's still stretching her brains out. And I hope she doesn't have something in her that's like walking. Let's check upstairs and see if she did any boom booms. Yeah, go girl. All right, we're getting a little one out here. Well, she's actually the bigger dog, but she's not that big. <laughs> Find out what her weight is today, maybe. She won't want to get on the scale, but I'm gonna say around 43 pounds. Maybe 45. All right, we got to capture one of those today. Ooh, that is really, really dark, Priya. Yeah, we might have a UTI. I mean, that can that can make her upset, but she hasn't, like, been peeing weird, so. But we have an absolutely gorgeous morning here. Uh, 62, I want to say 18. That, that sounds a little high. Nah, maybe not. All right, 62 and 16. That's pretty close, though. A little breeze. Not too bad out this morning, though. And my challenge this month is like 8 point some miles a day. Let me look here. Which, it shouldn't be a problem. I did over 10 yesterday. Oh. What are you doing, Princess? There we go. Monthly challenges... 8.73 miles a day, 14 days. Yay, love it. So, that shouldn't be too hard to make happen with work and whatnot. So, we'll uh, be uh, exercising this month. <laughs> I had a bad feeling about last month when I kind of, uh, uh, no, the two big adventures. That's why those two big adventures were, no, because neither one of them was more than, what was last week's? It wasn't that bad, but none of them were over eight miles. This should work. It's doing it. Another puppy dog out here, so we're going to avoid a little black lab. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're gonna take a different route. Take a different route. Yeah, I'm gonna switch over to the, to the action. This thing's not aiming right at all. <laughs> all right, this will be better. This is what I've kind of gotten used to this and with the, the new sensor and everything, I feel like it's so close to the pocket. The only thing I don't have is background blur, which honestly I'm not minded too much in this wet, in this particular time of year, be able to get, you know, clear view behind me. I don't think she's going to do a boom boom, mainly because she hasn't eaten. And Terry and I were talking about this, this morning. But that, that number one was not very, very good. That was very, very dark. And I had her out on the patio, but she doesn't like using the patio. I had to literally take her out front, and we took a walk down the sidewalk last night after, during the bear situation. Yeah, they were back there when I did that, <laughs> I think. So, we only went... To, I don't come down this way anymore because they come right through this back section. So, all right, girl, I'll let, your, I'll let her sniff. Let her have her sniffs. Hey, wait, is a bug just buzzed by me? Oh, she is gone potty. Not very much, but doesn't look very good. Hmm. I know, TMI, but I am, we're, we're worried about her because she has not been eating. I hope she doesn't have a blockage. I hope she didn't eat something stupid and she has a blockage. But I mean, she is, I mean, for not eating, she did go. So that's a sign of something, I guess. All right. Well, we didn't go for a very long walk because we got interrupted by that other dog. So eh, we had a couple little messies. So back home, but I'm staying home. She's going to run to Sam's Club quick. So. Video should be ready to upload when we get back. I'm going to take him for a little bit longer walk here. I don't know if we can check this parking lot out or not. Last night when I came home, there were people parked down there. Seems really weird. There were cars parked there. So I don't know what that was all about. Oh, yeah, nice little breeze. It's, it's very comfortable outside. A little bit of fall air. Warm fall air. That's what it is. It's warm fall air. Come on, little man. Come on. You can walk. Gotta get your exercise, little buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nice. We're coming back to the house. The bear's got in the dumpster. The du it is. It is a disaster behind our dumpster right now. <laughs> I let minions know that they have uh, some cleanup to do. I'm not doing it for them. I know they're busy with working on an apartment that is absolutely destroyed. But uh, I'm going to give, give uh, one of them something to do for a little bit. Pick all that crap up. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, there's some uh, really interesting things going on around here that I'm not talking about yet because I don't want to talk out of turn. But I'm like, seriously, this place is just, they're out of control. They are out of control. So I don't know how much longer. This next next year's lease might be the last one. We're gonna have to start looking for something a little bit more inexpensive to live in that we can keep the pups. So it's just getting out of hand in my opinion. And everybody else's opinion too. Ooh, it doesn't look like there's anybody over here. So let's see if we can wander over and take a good look at Dollar General Market quick. First, from this angle, we have the sun right in our lens. I'm trying to stay as far down this way as I can. UPS flying up the hill. Wish they knew speed limits. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised they didn't do anything around back here. But yeah, they don't have a delivery door. Well, they do, but it's it's a man door. It's not a bay door. It's for a company this big, it seems kind of silly. How's your work in the day? I wonder if they're actually done with the uh, construction and now it's just re starting to fill it up. It's come a long ways since the last time we really got a chance to walk down here.
Looks like they're running electricity. Lines are all painted. Uh, yeah, they were marking the. Really curious. No, that's still pretty wavy. It might be might be a drainage thing. Yeah, they're running it downhill right there as a drain. And there's probably one over that away. It just feels a lot bigger than what it originally did when they were doing it. My goodness. Well, they had huge piles of dirt and whatnot here, so it kind of took up some of the space. And that's the porta potty I thought I was going to have to use that one night. But yeah, look at that. Look at that wave. I know they're running it for the trains, but my God, that seems highly extreme. I don't know. All right. Pretty soon it'll be open and we'll get to tour it. Anybody want a Mandy? A couple of them on the ground there. <laughs> Maybe the bears will come down and eat them. <laughs> and they do have a light pole to put in yet here. Is that the only one? It's the only one I see. Where are you going? I'm going to pee on the trash. Don't do that. Come on. We did have some more clouds roll in here. It's still absolutely gorgeous out. Pretty good breeze blowing in my face right now, so it's coming from the west. Hmm, oh, need another angle of this tree down here. Yeah, I, this, this section back here, I mean, I guess it'll be out of sight for customers. It just seems odd that this doesn't get cleaned up. I don't know. I think there's actually more property for lease here. It's kind of interesting. This could become an actual, this was at one time a, I believe like a shopping center back in the day. There were stores throughout here and it's, uh, I don't remember, I, I'm pretty sure at one point it was a no kill shelter was in here. That was one of the more recent things. And then the 3D printing place has moved in and these last two little units, I know that one was being rented and they moved the hell out quite a while ago. And I don't know about the 3510 there. So, there we go. And then this, of course, this is right there is where we look through. And a little hole right there in the trees. There's the ditch that we're always looking at. Another drainage thing there. Not flowing right now. But now that building's there, so I don't know if they have anything pumping off into that. I wonder if they connected to that. So that might actually get, if we get a good rain, that might fill up a little bit differently now. But, you know, they just shoved all the debris back here. We did that a while ago. And then that stuff. Whatever. I just, I'm just curious on why it's not cleaned up ever. So... There was, yeah, there's the, one of the telephone poles that they pulled out is in there too. Yeah. And like from here, they paved, but then there's a section just beyond that light pole that is old. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. They spent all this money to pave parts of it, not all of it. <sighs> what people do, I don't always understand. All right. What do you think, little bunny? You must have done a boom boom outside because you're not doing anything here. He's like, I'm on pavement, Dad. He's like, good, we're going back home. That's the direction I want to go. Because Mommy was in the bathroom and she was getting dressed and I don't want to leave her to leave me here. You know, she is. I don't know if we're going to take them both up to the vet, though. Just so that we, uh, he's not left in the house by himself. I'll have to discuss that. And for those of you wondering what, what I'm talking about, so the guy in the 3D printing place, he brings his dog to work every day. And when I was walking these guys over there, he came out and told me that I shouldn't be walking around there when they're open. No, it's because his dog was there and his dog was barking. I'm pretty sure it's the one that keeps coming out of his back here too, Roscoe. Friendly dog, he's fine. But my dogs were driving him nuts. Then don't bring your freaking dog to work because it doesn't belong there. First of all, the dog probably doesn't need to be breathing those fumes. It's probably aging and killing your dog, you dope ass. But that's the story behind it. What do you think, little man? Hmm? What do you think? 
Should we do the bottom half? Kind of curious if he has to do any potties, but I'm going to be home so I can take them out again for a, a walk. Probably take them together because 8.37 miles, 8.73 miles. It's going to take a little bit of exercise today. And since I'm not going to Sam's Club, I'm not going to get that walk. Although I do get the ride to the vet. So that will, and this, this thing, you hit mute, it'll just run the whole way up. I kind of think they did it because the action cameras, you can connect the data to them. It has to keep running for that to work. I'm thinking that's why it continues to track while you're driving now. So the only thing it's gonna do is give me my mileage, which is what I need. <laughs> Stay away from the road. Right, well, as as I as I guessed, you know, it's all a guessing game with this dog. So she doesn't have pancreatitis. She doesn't have this. She doesn't have that. So I guess we're going to get some more medication that we can give her when she has flare ups to try to keep her stomach settled. And it's just basically, I guess we let it go too long with all the gulping she was doing. Because now she's not gulping. Now she's just not eating. So. And then swarm of freaking gnats, too. Come here, Priya. Are you peeing? All right. And she's got a camo bandage because she had drug drawn. Blood drawn. Come on. Careful. Let's get to your car. Come on. Get to your car, puppy. Well, I don't use this uh, action without the handle very often. This feels kind of weird holding the camera again. All righty. Princess is back home. Dara's back home. Everybody's back home. And now I gotta go get Mateo's pills. I got the pocket with me, thinking I, could, I was gonna set the camera thing back up. And I don't have the GoPro to quarter 20 thing. I don't know where the hell that went. It's always pieces. It's always little, it's always the little pieces I can't find. So frustrated. Good news is, and I forgot to mention this this morning is, the doors are in the United States. It's not giving me a location yet. I'm thinking probably California. It could be could be New York because that's pretty sure that's where the uh, Fordin ended up was in New York City. So maybe they're in New York. They might be here this week instead of being here the 14th. That would be superb because uh, I really want to get a door back on this camera. I mean, I, so far, weather-wise, I've been very... The hell was that? Hmm. The can is no longer under the seat to roll. I don't know what that tank was. I always hear funny noises in this car. All right, got to get gas, though. Um, do I want to get gas on the way in or the way out? Doesn't really matter. Six to one, half dozen the other. So... <sighs> yeah, so I just popped the Osmo... Uh, suction mount out of the out of her car and threw it in this one like well that'll work that'll do what I needed to do because this does work pretty well kind of curious though I think this might be more level than it is in my car or in her car yeah <laughs> I might play around with things a little bit more because I think I'm going to push it I don't know things I got to other things I gotta worry about, but yeah, he need to get his Abiquil and either Hearts Pet Deodorizer Spray or Arm and Hammer, I think it was. Because actually it's Arm and Hammer in the Hearts bottle right now for the cat litter. It really does help. It keeps the smell down. So so yeah, basically with Princess, um they're saying that the upset stomach is causing the gulping. So it turns into gulping first and then she ends up with belly ache and whatnot. So, but I did have them do since, well, they did the, a test on her pancreas for pancreatitis that came back negative, really low, which is good, but it ruled out, you know, what could possibly be wrong with her? And I said to him, I said, now did that, was that test qualified to put her back on incip, inci, in, interceptor for the heartworm? He says, no, it'd be another $55. But if we took her back up, it would have been like $20 more than that because it would have been another vet visit. I'm like, do it. 
So I was checking the interceptor on Walmart and it's, the, anybody wants to look at this for me? If you type in interceptor for dogs, it shows it at $141.98. The listing has three different counts. The box shows six. The one part says 12 pack. And another thing says 72 pieces. What the? So I'm like, okay, so that's like seven, 70 some dollars each. And I could have swore that it was like 80 something. It was only 58 at the vet. Let's just do it at the vet. We got, got her six month supply. But now she's good for another year or so with the test. I don't know. It's just one of those things that it always worries me with the Basset Hound that she's so low to the ground and her little nose is always sniffing the ground that she could be sitting there lapping up, you know, rabbit turds or deer turds or God knows what turds. And that's what causes heartworm. So she's my princess and she's expensive. So owning a pet is not an easy thing. <laughs> It's very stressful sometimes, especially when you have one that has elements that keep returning all the time. Okay, let's just put windows up. I can't stand the air right now. <sighs> so I get to go to Wally World. Yay! My least favorite place in the whole wide world to go. I'm going to see if I can't bring the Apple Watch data in. So I have an exercise running. I don't know if I need to run an exercise for this to work. I'm thinking I would. I don't know how else it would bring the data in, but we're gonna try this tonight. Really asshole! Idiot. All right, now we're going to test it without the watch running. I just want to see if any data comes through. I don't know. <laughs> How'd you like that guy passing me uh, in when the lane ended? It was a turn lane and he decided to pass me. Thought that was awesome of him. All right, fill up on fuel. Oh, I forgot. You're supposed to stop for pedestrians in this town. I think that might actually be a state law, but they didn't have the signs out, so I forgot. Torzel's got some pretty trees. That's nice. Is there some color in the area?
Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I have to wait longer for the data to, to update from the watch. But as of when I got here and downloaded the footage, it said there was no no importable data. So I don't know. That is, doesn't seem like it really has a whole lot of um, things that I would want, like the speedometer and stuff. It doesn't. It doesn't have any of that data for some reason. But I guess it was worth a, a shot to see. Okay, this truck's blocking me. I'm getting the hell out of here. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> I ran into the store manager and I was like, hey, how come that uh, Vision Center 4 way is not down already? She goes, I'm throwing it in the trash. I said, you have my permission to. She goes, I bet I do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this, this RCS thing with the iPhone is an absolute waste of time because every day it shuts off and goes back to sms and then terry can't text me i'm just i'm just i'm just shutting it the hell off it's an absolute piece of garbage apple doesn't know what the they're doing on that and they should be ashamed of themselves they really should be it does not work consistently like it's supposed to and it's truly infuriating it's pissing terry off which i understand why because then she's texting me and it won't come through Every day, every day, if I restart, and I have to completely restart my phone to make the frickin' thing work. Stupid. Ooh, baby, it is cooling off 58 degrees, 14 degrees Celsius, and windy. It is getting brisk here this evening. All right. Well, about 30 minutes ago, I ordered our veggie pizza. She wanted to have a treat. Hour and 25 minute wait. So we still have an hour <laughs> till we get our park pizza. We have not had one of them, I don't think, in 2024. I don't think we've ordered one. All the way till November until we ordered a pizza. Wow, it's kind of amazing. I've been hungry for one for a while now. 23 bucks a pizza though. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm probably gonna go to town. And unfortunately, last night I drank the second beer that Tim gave me, so I have zilch. That's okay. Beer and pizza. It was pump. It was the uh, Oktoberfest, so I don't know how good that would have been with veggie pizza. But we got the little man out, and we're going to take a nice little walk here and go potties. We missed Ruby. She was out earlier when we came home, but looks like everybody left now. Come on, little dog. Uh-oh. What's running around down here? Squirrels. Okay, squirrels playing in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> gonna catch you. I'm gonna impregnate you. <laughs> Get away from me, you dirty squirrel. <laughs> what are you doing? You being mean to that other squirrel? Just trying to play tag, you're it. <laughs> and Tim's like, I'll interfere. I'll be referee. Yeah. Looking back at that footage of the, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, board nap. Man, if they had stabilization, I rated it a two star and said, no stabilization, can't go above 4K 30. There was, oh, the zoom lever, you get to the end and it jumps back to 0.5. That's just stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. You didn't go potty, did you? No, you didn't. All right. All right, squirrels, have fun. Good luck with each other. Hope you have a long lasting relationship. <laughs> I heard something rustling down there. Of course, I don't know what time these bears are going to come out. If they're going to come out again tonight, they might come back tonight. Ellie spent like five hour, four or five hours in my yard last night. So, well, nine. And they were, they didn't, the last video of them was at like 2.58 in the morning. So, three, is that six hours? Yeah, but as I was saying, the Ford nap, if it, if it had stabilization with that 20x zoom, I mean, when the video was playing, it looked pretty decent. Whereas the iPhone only goes to 15x in video. So an extra 5x and I was on a palliated woodpecker, but it's so jittery. It's it's a waste, total waste. Hey, you did a boom boom. All right, dressed more appropriate this time. Gee whiz, temperature keeps dropping down. I think it's colder than it was earlier. Oh, I asked Mike if he thinks a lot Atlas might be up tonight. I don't know, we're gonna watch Girl on the Train when we get back, when I get back with pizza. Uh, 
I might try to go out and just take a couple shots and see if it is up there. Because yet last night was supposed to be the last night you could see it, but you never know. Might find it. So I'm gonna take a although this wind might deter me from doing it. We all clouds are right now. So sun's starting to set. Yeah, princess. If she'll do anything. Well, she came back negative on UTI, which is good. Negative on pancreatitis, which is good. Which leaves us at what the hell is wrong with this dog? Uh, that's where it leaves us. My princess. She's still not really bugging for food tonight either. So. so I really don't know if we fixed her problem. I don't think we did. As always, I just I hate taking her up there and spending over three hundred dollars. Come home with some medications and the dog still doesn't want to. You know, still isn't right. Very frustrating. Yeah, and sadly, my one viewer, Jay, in Canada, he lost his dog this week. I think it was yesterday, he told me. It sucks. I hate losing pets. It's Their their lifespan just isn't fair. It's just not long enough. <laughs> you know, because between childhood and now, let's see, it was Tanya, Angus, then Arizona, and AJ. You know, I don't know how many more years we have. Mateo should be... Kicking around for another eight to ten years. This one here with her health problems. We're hoping another five to seven years. Not a lot of time. Not a lot of time. So but I'm unfortunately I think Mateo's adventuring days is slowly coming to an end, especially ones like we did this past weekend. Too much. Just too much on the little dog. So he's uh he's doing better now, but it took him a couple days to recover. Mr. Sun, you are very, very bright. Very, very bright. I'm blocking you with the camera screen right now. <laughs> well, this weekend I have a clumpin, so I close tomorrow night and then I open Sunday. The nice thing about it is daylight savings time goes away, so I gain an hour of sleep there. Not that it really matters, so I'll probably wake up at 2.30 in the freaking morning. You wait and see. I almost guarantee I will. Sunday morning I will be up very early and be like, my alarm's not going off yet. I'm not getting up. So, I'm hoping one day they actually pass the law to just do away with this time change thing and be done with it. But some states don't do it. I don't think Arizona does it or certain cities in the state. I don't know. You've seen that tree lit up. It's not very pretty, but it's kind of a cool scene depending on the angle you get it from. Oh, yeah. I'm excited for park pizza. Trying not to uh, snack too much though, but I had to have a little something. We stopped at Burger King and got their $5 meal or $5.99 meal. Junior Whopper, some nuggets, fries, and a soda. Not a bad little deal. Fortunately, you can't use the Walmart plus 25% off on it because it's one of their you know value deals. So what we did, and she got her vanilla coffee, which she gulped down. So, Oh yeah, I'm I'm waiting for Deadpool and Wolverine to go down one more step in price, which that I probably be waiting a while. It is down to 19.99. It's just I also want to get the the Beetlejuice two pack because I don't have either one of them, and I think that actually went down because it's 24.99 now. So it's like what 12 dollars, 12.50 a movie. That one might come in for, uh, that's probably going to come first, but electric, cable, gas, water. <laughs> that's what I have left in money, and that's all what's due. Love it. Well, considering the Apple Watch did not work, I tried again while I was walking Mateo. I tried to see if it would bring some data over, which I don't understand because I did have an exercise running. It might not have all the information I want, but it should have something on there, and it has nothing. Um, so, I don't know what's going on with that. It's just it's just not working. So I'm not even going to include that footage, probably. Because there was, there was a couple trees maybe going through my tour as well. Maybe some of it. But not the whole drive to Walmart like I had recorded. Oh, Mr. Tree, you lost all your leaves now, too. Everybody's bare. Everybody's naked. <sighs> well, sunsets will be easier to see now. Also, I try to check on the doors again. I'm still not getting any 
real information. I don't think it's in the U.S. system yet. I think once it goes to like the post office or something, which I'm assuming is how it will be delivered. Since it's China Post to probably U.S. Postal Service. Once that transition takes, because customs cleared, it should be handed off to the actual delivering party. And then I'll know where the hell it's at. I'm thinking in California and New York. They're going to be the two biggest ones. Um, so we shall see. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that we get them well before the 14th. Because running this camera without that door in it. I don't think about it constantly, but it's like every once in a while when I go to plug it in, I'm like, <laughs> that one, that tree hasn't lost all the leaves yet. That's the one I normally catch from the other side, catching the sunset. Uh-huh. Party. My companion with me we're gonna go get pizza you ready to go get pizza boy he's like uh and gag can i sit with it i think i'm gonna put it on the front seat dude <laughs> buckle it in Ooh, baby he looks delicious all right everybody we're gonna enjoy this and watch a movie and call me thanks for watching have a night be safe